I don't know, as I wrote this book, I don't know if I was hoping to discover anything uh, that wasn't already known, that every anything that wasn't in the public domain already. But I found a lot of very interesting things from the primary sources that I was uh, studying. I got in to the New York Library of Congress uh, on the net, which you can, anybody can access it through the net. And I was able to access contemporary newspaper reports and court documents and medical documents and speeches in Congress and uh, letters. And the primary material that was uh, of the time. And the first thing about that is you get a real feeling for what it was like to live in that time. You, you almost uh, you can you know, smell the sawdust on the streets and uh, you, can, you can taste the food that they're eating and you know, the, the drinks that they're drinking. Uh, but also you get a, a very good insight into their, uh, how important religion was to them. Uh, we, have no, we have no concept today, I don't think, about how literal uh, they saw, how literally they took religion and the Bible. And God's word was God's word, and, and that kind of overrode the law in many cases, and certainly science. Uh, and also, uh, you know, it was the, the primary motivation for uh, Char Charles uh, Guiteau to shoot the president was he said that God had told him to do it, and that was perfectly plausible as far as he was concerned. I did find out one little interesting snippet, and I'm not sure if I have found this out or not, because I've, it, it's different depending on which source you look at it. But Charles Guiteau, uh, when he was a young adult, he was in a, in a community called uh, the Oneida community, which was kind of like a utopian community that was set up in uh, upstate New York, where uh, this guy, uh, John Moyes, had set up uh, an enclosed community where there was free love and uh, they were, you know, a very strange religious sect. And uh, a writer, a, a journalist uh, called Norduff uh, wrote an article about it in the 1870s, uh, I think it was. And he mentions how, uh, and this was years before uh, Garfield was assassinated, he mentions how a young man called Charles was put in the middle of a room and taken asunder by the other members of the sect. Uh, they had this thing where you had to stand in the middle of a room and listen to other people's criticism of you. It's called mutual criticism. And this was supposed to be healthy. But the young man uh, who was in the middle of the room uh, completely broke down because of the things that were being said about him. And that might have been Charles Guiteau. The dates are kind of right. Uh, uh, but they're a little bit out, so it's hard to say definitively if I've discovered something that history has missed before uh, by showing you know, how this poor man uh, came to be mad enough to shoot a president.